Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Wednesday. All right. It's just finished up raining here in the 757, and the sun is getting ready to come out. It's going to be a lovely day. It's going to be a lovely day. But every day is a lovely day because this is the day that the Lord has made, and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. You know, I was reading our daily bread, and the title this morning is God Had Other Plans. And uh, it was talking about the story of baby Moses. Y'all know that the devil was out to destroy Moses. But, you know, God had a plan even ahead of time. But, you know, it made me think of a song by Kurt Carr. Kurt Carr said, the devil had a plan to kill me. I know that. But God intercepted his plan, told the devil no. God blocked it and he didn't let me go. Oh, that song just came up when I read this story about baby Moses. But let me tell you something because my gym nugget gets a little personal because my gym nugget for today is God had another plan for you he had another plan for you not just for baby moses but he has a plan and he had a plan and he had it from the very beginning of time you know the story of uh of moses was that um uh this um Le levite a woman and her husband they got married and she became pregnant and she gave birth to a son but in the meantime pharaoh um, was trying to kill all the babies. And I thought it was some interesting points in this because um, um, although Pharaoh had put out a decree to have all the babies um, killed, there were two midwives that defied Pharaoh's law. Their names was Shipra and Pua, and they were supposed to kill all the baby boys, but you know, they rather obey God than to obey the Pharaoh. And so they let the boys live, and they even kind of lied about it. But it was all in the will of God. They were saying, oh, and when the baby boys were growing up, and say, what are these baby boys? And they said, you know, the, 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 the Hebrew women, they're quick having their babies and all. And so um, Moses was saved. But then um, after uh, baby Moses started getting big, and uh, they were trying to hide their baby um, in their um, in their home, and they didn't have homes like we have now. Uh, they had more like tents, and uh, so uh, Moses' mother decided that she would build a little ark, very very well built ark, um, and it was with papyrus and all these types of things, sort of like a tar. And she built this basket and sent him down the Nile in the midst of all the. I mean, the water and the, the animals and the, you know, snakes and everything in this water. But she sent him down in the water. And my Bible uh, scholars know that uh, the, the Pharaoh's daughter saw this basket um, going down, coming down the um, Nile River. And she wondered what it was. And then when she went out there, she saw it was this baby. And she named him Moses. And the verse it says, Pharaoh's daughter named him Moses, saying, I drew him out of the water. And that's what Jesus did for us. God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son that drew us out of the water and gave us everlasting life. If you don't know it or not, you was going down for the count because the devil had a plan for you. You know, reminded of another song, love lifted me, love lifted you out of that water because you was going down. The devil had a plan for for you to to kill you to destroy you to steal from you but God drew you out God had other plans that's like Kurt Carr said the devil had a plan to kill you 
and you should know that for sure but god blocked it and pharaoh drew him out pharaoh's daughter drew him out of the water just like he drew you out of the water he even died a horrible death so that you would be saved now if you missed church school live last night we talked about that empty tomb we talked about how jesus uh, just died a horrible death so he could get up to save you, to deliver you, to heal you, to lift you up. Oh, he had a plan for you. He had a plan for you. I'm so excited that he had a plan for you, that God blocked it. Oh, and he didn't let you go. Oh, my God. I'm getting happy right now. You know, we're getting ready uh, to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I don't know about you. I'm glad he got up. I'm glad that he blocked Satan's plan to destroy you. Amen, amen, amen. I could go on about that. But uh, I, I, I just thank God for that. God had another plan. For you, for you, for you. If he did it for Moses, this little baby Moses, he would do it for you. He'll block God's plan. He'll block no, he'll block the devil's plan to kill you and destroy you. I think somebody needed that this morning. I think somebody needed that this morning. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you're subscribing to the Gym Nugget and catching these nuggets, catching this word on Tuesday night, catching the word on Thursday night. My husband will be on tomorrow night with Life Study so we can take this word and apply it to our everyday life. But I want you to know as I go off here this morning, God had another plan for you. See you tomorrow morning. Bye.